How much risk can you handle? Let's find out. Welcome, I'm Brandon Rogers with Mind Your Money, where education is key to a successful financial future. So today, what we want to talk about is risk, okay? Obviously, I, I, I sit with a lot of different individuals and families and, and try to define this and always try to say, hey, control what you can control, and that's how much risk you're actually willing to take or that you can handle from that end. Uh, again, we hear various different answers from everybody, but when it actually happens, it's kind of a gut check and, and might change some people's minds. So when we're, when we're looking at risk, it's very important to look at that because we, we don't know what, nobody knows what's going to happen in the market. There's so many different outside sources that affect it, uh, but we can control the risk. So, you know, when we're looking at that, a very good representation of risk actually happened this fourth quarter of 2018. All right, so market went down pretty big. Uh, it was down anywhere from 14 to say 22%, somewhere in that range, uh, depending on how you were invested. And again, that was kind of a big gut check to a lot of people because that was the worst downturn that we've had um, since the Great Depression, okay, so from that quarter look. So again, a lot, a lot of people thinking about, hey, should I be taking this much risk? Can I handle it? Um, so a good way to define that and to look at that is is also to say, hey, how how did the how did this last quarter actually affect me, or how did this downturn actually affect me long term? And that's where the really the planning comes into play, and why it's really important to work with a certified financial planner to kind of have that vision out there and see that long term effect. Because again, when someone's in retirement or nearing retirement, you know, the risk should basically be coming down because they can't really they don't have time on their side anymore, or they're not maybe actively contributing to a retirement plan like they had been their whole life. So it's really important to kind of keep that in check. So with that in mind, I have a chart I'm gonna put up. That's probably one of my favorite ones. And uh, it basically has a very good illustration of, of you know, how much risk am I taking and how long does it take me to, to recover from a downturn? Um, so when we look at this chart, the first column over here, and you'll see circled is my portfolio has lost 40%. All right, that's big time. I mean, that happened for a lot of people in the financial crisis in 2008, right? Um, what does the next column show? Well, it says total return needed to break even. So just to get the back to where I started, I have to make 67% if I lost 40. All right, again, I've got a, a smaller bucket of money to work with and to compound, right? So that's why it's a lot higher to get back to it. And then we have various different returns, you know, 3% for someone that's conservative, maybe 4 or 5%, 6% for someone moderate, you know, and then you get to the 7, 8 range for someone that's really aggressive, which might, might still be a little high, but again, let's just look at it for illustration purposes. So again, we've got what's circled here. It'll take 6.6 .6 years if you average 8% during that time frame to get back just to even, okay? Um, if we look somewhat more realistic to say someone may be moderate because they're in, say, they're in retirement or nearing retirement, It'll take about 10 and a half years at average 5% rate of return to get back to even. So again, um, really wanted to show this piece and, and, and kind of put things in perspective and you know take some time to look at the chart, but it is, it's very interesting from that end and again, a good visual piece. So again, very important to really uh, you know work with a certified financial planner to look at how this might affect you in the long term. And, and in retirement, you just want to make sure you don't outlive your money, right? So make sure that's in place and you have a plan there to accomplish that. Uh, so again, as always, uh, any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we want to ask you to subscribe to our future videos down below as well. Um, but um, thanks for joining us today. And I'm Brandon Rogers with Mind Your Money.